where a lot of players the reserve is their absolute favorite. But just as many people absolutely hate the map. But what we can all agree on that there are a lot of keys on reserve. And when you just start to play reserve and see the amount of keys, this can be overwhelming. But don't you worry, we will go over everything today. You will become an expert on reserve. But before we start on reserve, well, the thing with maps is kind of difficult. So I'm going to use this white one as I think it's the cleanest one. I will begin at the right bottom corner, right beneath the train station. Right next to those two bunkers are those two little houses. And in the upper one at the end of the hallway is the first marked room, the RBVO key. Now, with all marked room keys, it's the same. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But the price of the key usually adjusts depending on what's inside the room, so you always make a profit in most cases. At the other end of the hallway is another door with a painting on the wall. Could be proper, don't know. And inside this room, we have a lot of weapon attachments, weapons itself. And if you're lucky, there's a full modded AK in the rack there with the RBAO especially strong at the beginning of a wipe. Now on the tier list, the RBVO is a very good key, so definitely S tier. And the thing is, those two rooms are so far away from everything else that you want to bring them as a pair. And therefore, I'm going to place the RBAO also as an S tier key, even though it's probably more like an A key, but you want to bring them together. Then it's time to head over to the bunkers. So run above the first bunker, which is not enterable, but the second one is, and that's exactly where we're heading. So go inside downstairs and there are four rooms that look like cages. And those are the RB, PS and then something keys. And we start off with the RB, PSP, one key. And all of those rooms have potentially a lot of loot. So in the first room here, we got right away a lot of crates. First off a Russian supply crate, in late wipe a good source for sugar. A medical supply crate followed by some loose loot. And then we have another ration supply crate, so potentially more sugar. Then another one of those ration supply crates. And at the end we also have a technical supply crate. So there are a lot of crates down there. And of course it's always a bit luck based what you get. But potentially you can fill a whole backpack just with this single room. And right next to it is the next room, the PSP2. And it's basically the same story here, starting off with a technical supply crate, followed by a ration supply crate, a medical supply crate in the back, followed by another ration supply crate, and yet again at the end a technical supply crate. And don't worry, I'm gonna cut it short on the next rooms with all those crates. But one cool thing in this room, you can climb on top of those crates and there you have a really good angle across the whole basement area. And you're behind the light source, so it's really hard to spot you there. Then on the other side, we have the PSV1. And as promised here, the short overview, we have two medical, one technical and one ration supply crate inside. Then a big back, we have the PSV2 room. And inside here, we have three medical supply crates and one technical. So if you need medical supplies, that's a pretty good source for that. Now in the tier list, the keys kind of fluctuate. At the beginning of a wipe, there are OP as hell if you get your hands on it. Later, they're not as good, but still decent. It's just that you get a lot of hideout material out of those rooms. And well, later on, those aren't as valuable anymore as at the beginning. Then for the next couple of keys, we have to run across this train station or area. And you might want to use more cover than I do in this video. Either way, there are different ways to enter the building. But the room you're looking for is at the end of the first hallway. That's the RBMP13. And in this room, there isn't much. There's some loose loot inside this drawer. And there's a potential folder of intelligence spawn on the chair right here. So not that overwhelming, this room. <laughs> for the next room, go upstairs all the way to the roof, jump down, and then the first door. In this room, there is again a lot of loose loot, but this time weapon attachments. So pretty good stuff can be lying around there. Then a grenade box, a toolbox, weapon spawns, and potentially a folder of intelligence on the desk. 
Now on a tier list you can definitely separate those two keys because those locked rooms are not the only reason why you would ever enter this building. There's a lot of loot inside that don't require keys and therefore the MP22 definitely A tier and the MP13 not worth it. Except when you desperately need a folder. Then for the RBST we need to go to the garage and therefore you can jump through those windows. It needs a bit of practice so don't get frustrated if it doesn't work right away. Then run through this garage, I assume, up to this locked metal door. Now when you open this door it's completely normal to get pushed to the left side. I don't know why he opens the door there. Something for Tarkov mystery. And inside this room there is a lot of loose loot. Apart from the boxes, there's a weapon box right at the entrance. On the first desk there can be loose loot, especially weapon parts. And pretty much everywhere that has a surface can spawn something. And since something the items bug a little bit into the ground, it can be hard to spot. So you really have to look closely and check pretty much everything and every box until you get a feeling for the most common spawns and so on. In the middle there are two grenade boxes, pretty nice for restock mid-raid. There's a weapon crate that you can't open for whatever reason. And at the back of the room there's another weapon box. Then there is a loose loot on this kind of stair to the truck. And on the truck itself is another weapon box. And lastly in the middle of the room there's this desk with ammunition. Now potentially there's a lot of loot inside this room, but in my experience just not that many good things. I mainly use it to restock my grenades currently. But presumably there are Aizas, I don't know how to pronounce that, and OFC shells inside. I haven't found them so far, but it's possible. So in my opinion it's a decent key, it's not overwhelming, but you need it for a mission so you have to pick it up eventually. Then we head to the next building and that is the first horse. And I would recommend that you don't just run straight to it and instead run around the building then enter and first listen if somebody's inside. And the first locked room is right next to the stairs, it's the RBMP12. There's a jacket inside, some loose loot and weapon attachments as well as on the desk. Behind there can be ammo or a folder of intelligence and we have a weapon crate. So it's a pretty small room but a lot of loot compared to the size and there can be really good stuff inside, especially scopes. Then on the next floor we have the next two rooms. First the MP11 key and there's just a jacket inside, some loose loot and toolbox, potentially a folder of intelligence. But that's rarely, usually the room is just empty and it's, it's generally not a good room. Then at the end of the hallway there's the next room, the RBMP21. And this room is way better. We have loose weapon attachments, a weapon box, we have two drawers and we have this rack at the end of the room and on top of those spawns ammunition and there can be really good ammo. Pretty much all the BS rounds and the Gonic rounds that I have in my stash are from inside this room and there's another folder of intelligence spawn on the desk. So in terms of the tier list, where do the rooms belong? In my opinion the rooms 21 and 12 are definitely good keys, but the MP11 is not worth picking up. Then we go to the White King building and for that just run across here into the garage, up these stairs and the first room right here is the RBRH. And there are some loose weapon attachments, two drawers, potentially a weapon spawn in the rack there, but most of the times this room is not worth your time. Then we go to the main stairs and there all the way down into the basement, the first door left and there's a room that you can open, that's the RBOP room. Now on the desk there can be valuables, can, and it has one drawer, so... Again, it's not really amazing this room. Then on the other side there's this kind of server room, I don't know, the RBGN. There are two two boxes inside and it has a chance to spawn one of those fire steels that you need for the kappa container, but otherwise, again, not an amazing room. So in terms of a tier list, I think all three of those keys are not worth it. Why? Well, the loot isn't great and it's an area with a lot of PvP, so why risk it for so little? Then we head across the street to the White Bishop. For that, just leave the building, across the street to the stairs, up there, turn a left, and there we have the RB Simp key. 
Now inside this room, there can be a lot of medical supplies. In this run, I kind of got unlucky about an offline raid, but this room can be full of stims, salevas, efux, just anything you need to heal yourself. Then on the other side of the hallway is the RBKSM. And this room is pretty much the same, it's just a bit smaller and therefore it has less loot, but it also spawns a lot of medical items. So in a tier list, that's a pretty easy one. Both of those keys are pretty good. I'm just gonna place one of them, keep in mind there's so two because I'm running out of space soon, so <laughs> kinda have to do that. And you also need those keys for missions, by the way. Then we head over to the school building, and yes, there is a school building on reserve. So just across the street, across the dangerous open field, and there you are. And there we have the first room, that's the RBAM. It's one of my absolute favorites. You get a jacket, you get loose weapon attachments, free toolboxes, loose loot in between, a weapon crate, and a potential folder of intelligence spawn on the chair. So this room is usually full with good stuff. You can find 60 rounds for M4s, folder of intelligence, a lot of silencers, good keys, and so on. It's, it's really an amazing room that should make you a lot of profit. Then right above is the RBAK key. It's a really famous room, I'm sure you've heard about it. It's not as relevant anymore as there aren't that many graphic cards inside now with the dynamic loot. And also Tetris isn't worth that much anymore. So that's why this room isn't as valuable as it was before. But it's still a good source for electronics. But you don't need the key, you can just jump out the window right above. The other window. <laughs> Land on this little roof and you're inside. There you go, you don't need a key. Now on the tier list, the RBAM, definitely one of the best keys that you can bring. So S tier for sure. And the AK key, just well, you don't need it if you pick the right window. <laughs> then we head to the black pawn. So just leave through the main door, across the open field, into the next building and there you go. Now here on the first floor, we have the RBORB free key and you need this for a mission as well. And it's another weapon room, so you know what to expect. So you have weapon attachments, you have weapon spawns, you have drawers, you have ammunition, and that's it. So it's a good source for weapon mods if you need some or can't buy it yet. Then right above is the office with the RBOB. Now there's a valuable spot on the desk here, but it's rare, especially now with dynamic loot and one drawer, so it's not really worth anything. But well, you also need that for a mission. Then through the basement to the other side of the building, we have another marked room key, the RBBK. And it's another marked room, so well, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Just make sure to always check around the couch, there can be sneaky loot there. And right next to it, we have the RBTB key, that's a shooting range. Now inside on the desk, there are weapon attachments. We have a possible AK spawn right next to it. We have a weapon rack where you can get a fully modded AK and there are more weapon attachments on the ground next to those targets. So on a tier list, definitely the RBBK can be amazing. The RBTB, so the shooting range, can also be pretty good. The ORB is always a good source for weapon attachments and the OB, forget about it. Then the next two weapon rooms are in the white pond right next to this building. There on the first floor is the RBORB1. It's pretty similar, we have one weapon box, we have a drawer, we have weapon attachments, we have ammunition. So it has a bit less than the other, but it's still decent if you need weapon mods or certain ammunition and don't have access via traders yet. Then two stories above, we have the RBORB2, another weapon room. So we have a weapon spawn, we have a weapon rack, we have attachment, we have ammunition. There are also two drawers and on top of that, there can be a valuable, so always make sure to check that. So both keys are absolutely worth it. Just the ORB keys in general. And you need all of them for a mission anyway. So we're almost through. Now we go to the dome. Now when we run up there on the area we have those two little station buildings. I don't know. And the left one requires a key. And this key is pretty expensive. And for a good reason. There is a lot of good stuff in there. It's the RBKPRL key. Inside are safes, weapon safes, a small safe that never had something in it so far and a pretty common folder of intelligence spawn on the desk. So it's a really good room but the key is usually around 1 million rubles. Then inside on the first floor we have three rooms. 
First, the RB Coral. There's not much inside, just two drawers and possible loose loot spawns. So really nothing special and pretty forgettable. But right next to it is a really good room and that's the RB RLSSA. Now on those shelves, there can be military equipment like military cables, motherboards, filters and so on. Then there is a folder of attention to spawn on the desk and we have three drawers inside the room. So pretty decent and if you need any military equipment, it's a good place to check. Then right next to it is the RBRS room. And this, it's a pretty big room, but despite its size, it doesn't have anything good inside. Just two toolboxes and some loose loot, but usually there's really not much inside this room. So on the tier list, I would say that the KPRL, so the safe room, definitely S tier. The RLSSA, also a pretty good room, so definitely S tier, especially for the military equipment. And the other two rooms are just not good at all. Now there's one additional key that's right next to where you activate the D2 exit. So right next to the ladder is this room, the RB PKPM. I've never had anything good inside this room and I've heard many say the same. So I don't know if BSG is changing this in future wipes, but for now it's probably the first marked room key that's just bad. There's also a lot of PvP happening there and risk that for basically nothing, just, just no. Now we have a pretty long list of keys and which one should you play now? Well, I can't recommend really the same I did with customs because it depends on what route you prefer on reserve. Because if you want to bring all those keys, you need two containers, two dock keys or whatever. So you might want to focus on one route that you're comfortable and get the keys that are on this route. Or let's say you're looking for weapon attachments, then get the keys that unlock weapon rooms, like the ORB keys. So I can't just tell you what keys to bring, you really have to figure that out by yourself. You have seen what can be inside the rooms, so try to figure out which ones you want and what route you want to take around reserve. And hopefully I didn't forget a key because it was a lot of work. But if I did, mention it in the comments and I'm gonna pin a comment with additional information about this room. So I hope this guide helps you out. If so, share it with your friends, maybe it helps them as well. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below or on the Discord or join the live stream and ask me there directly. Then good luck farming some money on reserve and see you all in the next video.